So, a huge thank you to Focus Entertainment for providing me with the key to Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, but I want you guys to know that doesn't alter my opinion in any way, shape or form. And there may be minor spoilers in this video, but I will keep them to a minimum. There will be nothing major spoiled, and the spoilers will only be included in this video if they are absolutely necessary. So, is it worth buying Banisher's Ghost of New Eden? This game is all about the love between the two Banishers known as Red and Antea, and it's all about their story. It starts with them being hired by a friend to come to the town of New Eden and solve a haunting case. Your job as a banisher is to investigate hauntings through different clues that become available as you make progress in the investigation, and the game will lead you to different areas to find all these clues and figure everything out. You will start this game with set segments where you are going to control one character or the other, but as you make enough progress in the game you will be able to control both, and they are both incredibly important to the story of the game having different abilities when it comes to investigations. After the game's prologue, after you see that splash screen where it shows you the name of the game and everything, you will be introduced to camps where you can then rest, you can upgrade your gear using the resources that you find whilst you're out exploring looking for clues to the investigations. This is an action RPG so you do get a like a full-on gear system where you get upgrades and it goes up to like relic where you've got I think there's seven different different levels to gear pieces but you've also got a skill tree which unlocks new abilities for combat and things like that and you are later told to start making choices in the game your own choices that come with their very own consequences and you're going to have an ultimate goal that you as the player decide investigations will be more player controlled as you decide the outcome and you will need to swear an oath for the route that you've chose however you are able to change your mind later on for each investigation but that is going to affect how the game plays out it's a very player based game you decide how this story sort of pans out combat in the game is interesting having its parry system you've got the ability to deal more damage to certain enemies based on the character you're currently using but that is where the best part of combat is present and i'm going to say the worst as well when you have the ability to use both characters you can synergize to deal with the enemies and both characters play off each other really well in the combat you do have a few different enemy types at least early in the game that you're able to deal with during combat but it does get a little bit annoying which is the worst part of it having Antea constantly asking you to let her do the fighting when you're controlling red you've constantly got Antea saying oh come on let me have a go and like all these different things like she constantly wants to be involved with the fighting and it does get a little bit irritating i did have a couple of major lag spikes like i thought the game was going to completely lock up and crash it didn't however it did manage to recover but i did have a couple of major lag spikes that happened a few hours into the game but they should be ironed out as i've been told the game is going to get a day one patch these were not a, a major effect on the game or anything like that I just wanted to note it down in this video to let you guys know that there is a possibility you might face some lag. And Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden is expected to last around 20 to 25 hours for a standard playthrough. And if you enjoy a detective type game, you will definitely enjoy this game. It's not too difficult, it explains everything you need to know and it does it very, very well. If you're looking for certain resources for gear upgrades, then just hovering over the item even explains where you can find it. You have like a, I'm going to say like a Dark Souls bonfire type system, because when you go to a camp, you have the ability to rest, you get to replenish your like healing, and at the same time it's going to respawn enemies. That is also the only place you're allowed to do your upgrades and stuff. And some areas in the game, at least at the start, are going to be off limits until you've made enough progress. But what I really like is those areas are going to be marked on your map when you go near them, and then they're going to be put on your compass when you're actually in the area again, just to make it easier to remember where those areas are. So you find your first area, it's off limits, you make enough progress in the game to be able to actually explore that area, you then go back to the sort of like general area where you found it, and it'll be marked on your compass to show you exactly where to go, and just so that you remember which part of the map it's on it will be marked on your map as well. So Banisher's Ghost of New Eden is going to set you back £45 on Steam, and it is going to release tomorrow, the 13th of Feb. So to answer the question of is it worth buying, I'm going to say yes. If you enjoy this type of game, they have done it very well. The story is compelling, however not perfect. There are some parts to feel out of place or quite awkward at times, but there aren't too many of those. 
the story's actually really intriguing. And like, typically when it comes to games like this, I'm skipping all the cutscenes and stuff. But they managed to draw me in enough and get my attention so that I wasn't skipping them. I actually got myself involved in the story. And it plays out very well. And the gameplay in this one definitely gets more exciting as you begin to start developing the story. But not only that, the game looks good as well. And it only has technical hiccups every now and then. Or at least it did during my time of the review build of the game. So again, a massive, massive thank you to Focus Entertainment for providing me with a key to play the game early. And that is going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.